Howdy y'all, this is Tony with Lone Star Coops, and today we're going to be talking about a free, high-protein, high-fat treat that you can give your chickens using black soldier fly larva. Lone Star Coops. Today we're going to talk about a quick and easy way to set up capturing black soldier fly larva in your backyard as a treat for your chickens. I know a lot of people like to buy the freeze-dried mealworms as treats for their chickens, but they can be quite expensive. So wouldn't it be nice to have a free way to collect a larva with a very similar nutritional profile to the mealworms? You may have seen these adult black soldier flies outside and not ever known what they are. They are about one inch long, they have no stinger, they don't carry disease, and they're generally not considered a pest to humans. In fact, they're beneficial composters. The adult flies are active and laying eggs generally when temperatures are between 75 and 100 degrees. So this is prime time to go ahead and get those free treats coming. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this is going to be the quick and easy way to do it. This is not a elaborate black soldier fly farm. You can set this up in about five minutes and you will start having larva within a few days. Each female soldier fly lays between 200 and 600 eggs during their one week life. Once the eggs hatch and the larvae start feeding, they can survive up to 36 days in this larva stage. So if you just harvest a few every day for your chickens, you will have pretty much a continuous supply of nutritious live larva to feed your chickens for the entire summer. To start your setup, you're just going to need any sort of bin with some holes poked into the top of it. You don't need to put any dirt in here. What works best would be moistened leaves, moistened shredded cardboard, peat moss, coconut core, or any sort of organic material like that. What's going to attract the soldier flies is going to be vegetable scraps, fruit, lettuce, pretty much anything. Put that in there and in a few days you're going to have these larvae in there eating the uh, vegetable and fruit scraps. Just keep your bin outdoors where the flies can access it and they will take care of doing the rest of the work for you. Now you can pull the larva out by hand and feed them. We're going to show uh, the chicks here getting some larva. This one here didn't want to wait. And in just seconds, they are all gone. We're going to put a bin on the ground here for the chickens, and right away we can actually see one adult soldier fly in there laying eggs. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can certainly put on some gloves. What I'm digging through here is just some rich black compost that my composting worms have been working on for a couple months. Just leaves, cardboard, and vegetable scraps. But now that the heat of the summer is here, the black soldier flies are active and they have also discovered the composting bins. Let's let the six week old chicks out and let everybody have a chance to get a treat here. To finish up, we're just going to uh, let them snack for a minute. Put the lid back on, maybe throw another piece of fruit in there and put it back in a shady corner outside on the deck or somewhere in your backyard. And just let those adult soldier flies keep on populating the bin with new eggs. The larvae are about 42% protein and 30% fat. They have lots of calcium and amino acids and they are a very nutritious snack for the chicks. There are some more elaborate ways to set up black soldier fly farms. If you're interested in that, there's plenty of videos on that on YouTube. However, this is just a quick and easy way to get it done. 
If you found this video useful or interesting, please drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Thanks for watching.